great day to one and all. I am Mr. Kim J.C. Ensho, and today I will be discussing with you Licensure Examination for Teachers or LET Review for Mathematics Majors. So I hope you have your paper and pencils with you, solve with me, and let's see if you will get the questions right. So for the directions for this, write the letter of the correct answer before the number. If the correct answer is not found among the choices, write E. Let's go on. Let's start with item number one. If 7x minus 21 minus 1 equals negative 22, what is 2x plus 3? Is it negative 3, 3, 6, or 9? What do you think? I will reveal the solution now. And from time to time, if you wish, you are free to pause the video and check if you have the same answers as I did. Let's reveal now the solution. If 7x minus 1 equals negative 22, to isolate 7x, we will add 1 both sides of the equation. So adding 1 to both sides gives us 7x equals negative 22 plus 1, which is negative 21. Solving for x, we have to divide both sides by 7. And with that, we have x equals negative 21 over 7 or negative 3 and x is the value and x has a value of negative 3 but it's not yet our final answer because our required um, our required is the value of 2x plus 3 with x equal to negative 3 we have 2 times negative 3 plus 3 2 times negative 3 it's negative 6 Negative 6 plus 3 gives us negative 3. If you answered letter A, you got it right. Okay, number 2. What is the simplified form of 50 minus 4? Uh, and this one here, we have 35 minus 2 to the 5th squared minus 20 and please take note also of the grouping symbols is it 92 93 94 or 95 so this one entails order of operations and to do this we have if there are multiple grouping symbols we have to work on from the inside going outside from the inner to outside and also, we have to follow your GEMDAS rule, or others call it PEMDAS. So from here, we have here 35 minus 2 to the fifth. And we know that 2 to the fifth means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or you take 2 as a factor 5 times. And that is, in fact, 32. The rest were just copied. I just expressed 2 to the 5th as 32. Next, we have here a subtraction uh, sentence. So 35 minus 32 will give you 3. And the rest were just copied. We have 50 minus 4 times 3 squared minus 20. 3 squared, um, we have here an exponent. So 3 squared, that means 3 times 3 or 9. And that's why it was simplified this way. And the rest were also copied. Next, we have here a grouping symbol. So we have to simplify 9 minus 20, which is negative 11. So you have 50 minus 4 times negative 11. And with minus and multiplication, we have to perform multiplication first. And we have here negative 4 times negative 11. That's positive 44 because negative times negative is positive. So you have here 50 plus 44, which is 94. Letter C. Okay, I hope you're doing well. 
number three. In the number, in this number, what digit is in the thousands place? Is it two, three, nine, or eight? So let's see what answer did you get? Did you get it right? Let's discuss. The two here is in fact the thousands place. Take note, no THS. Because if you move from, if you go from the decimal point to going to the left, we have here, uh, the first one is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, no THS. And if you go to the right, the first number here is, the first digit here is in the tenths place with THS. There's no such thing as ones. So we have tenths, hundreds, thousands, hundred thousands. So with that, B is in fact in the hundreds place. Nine is in the thousands place. And D is in the 10,000th place. So I hope you got letter C. And if you did, great job. But if not, you can still go on to the other items. Number four. Evaluate. If x star y equals a, uh, in this case rather, this is a star b is equal to a plus b plus ab, what is 5 star 4? Take note that, um, take take note of the corrections I just had earlier. So if this is the case, this is like a function thing. And that is, the first number here is 5. Will be This a later will be replaced by 5. And this B, which is the second number after the star, is 4, will be replaced by 4. And so this is not actually very hard. All you have to do is just replace all A's by 5's and all B's by 4. With that, so with this one, we have 5 star 4 is equal to a plus b plus ab. So we have 5 star 4 equals 5 plus 4 plus 5 times 4. And we will now employ order of operations. So from here, 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 times 4 is 20. And therefore, if you simplify 9 plus 20, that gives you 29. Hence, 5 star 4 is 29 or letter B. All right. Number 5. Simplify the expression x minus 3 multiplied by the trinomial x squared plus 3x plus 9. Which of A, B, C, or D do you think is correct. So to do this, we can actually employ what we call the distributive property. So from here, I will distribute first the x, meaning to say I will multiply x to each of x squared, 3x, and 9. Then I will multiply negative 3 also to each of the terms of this trinomial and combine like terms and to simplify it. So from here, we will I will distribute the x first. x times x squared will be x cubed. x times plus 3x will be plus 3x squared. x times 9 will be plus 9x. So we are done distributing the x. We will now distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. And negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. That's why you have this result so far. 
But if you could see, the 3x squared and the negative 3x squared will become 0. 9x minus 9x will also become 0. Hence, simplifying this will give us x cubed minus 27 letter D. Okay. Number six. What do you call the answer of a multiplication sentence? Is it product, quotient, sum, or difference? If you answered letter A, you got it right. Product is the answer of a multiplication sentence. Quotient is the answer of a division sentence. Sum is that of addition, whereas difference is that of subtraction. Hence, letter A is correct. Number seven. If 7x plus 3y equals 20, what is y when x is 4? Is it 8 thirds, negative 5 thirds, 5 thirds, or negative 8 thirds? What do you think? Feel free to pause the video from time to time. Okay? So this time, let's do this. So all you have to do is replace x with 4. Then we will solve for the value of y. So we have 7 times 4 plus 3 times y plus 3y equals 20. 7 times 4 is 28. So we have 28 plus 3y equals 20. Then we will subtract both sides by 28 to isolate the term with a y. So we have 3y equals 20 minus 28 or negative 8. And dividing both sides by 3 gives negative 8 thirds. So y is negative 8 thirds, letter D. Number 8. What is the sum of the product and quotient of 30 and 6? Is it 180, 185, 200, or 250? So if that's the case, we will multiply the 30 and 6. We will also divide 30 and 6. And we have, since we're getting their sum, so we have to add them. Hence, the required expression here is 30 times 6 plus 30 over 6. This is the product of 30 and 6. This is the quotient of 30 and 6. And sum indicates that we have to add the results. So employing now your um, GEMDAS or your PEMDAS, 30 times 6 will be 180. 30 over 6 or 30 divided by 6 is 5. And 180 plus 5 is 185. Letter B. Okay, number 9. The square of a number is thrice the same number added by 10. What is the positive value of this number? Is it 5, 7, 9, or 10? So for this problem, let x be the number. And it says there the square of the number. So we have x squared equals thrice the number, so 3 times x Added by 10, so plus 10. So this is your quadratic equation based on the problem. And expressing this in standard form by subtracting both sides by 3x plus 10, then we have x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. This is in fact factorable as x minus 5 times x plus 2 equals 0. And since the product of these two expressions is zero, and by the zero property of multiplication, any one of these is equal to zero. Any one of these factors is zero. So if we equate x minus 5 and x plus 2 equals zero, 
you get the value as either 5 or negative 2. But since we are only looking for the positive value of x, so we have to go with letter A, 5. And if you could check, 5 squared, 25. 3 times 5, 15 plus 10, it's also 25. Okay, number 10. What is the hypothesis in the statement? If x equals 4, then x squared equals 16. Is it 16 equals x? x is not equal to 4. x equals 4 or x squared equals 16. Hypothesis. Remember, if we speak about the hypothesis, it is the if part of the problem. If, then, that's the hypothesis. Then the conclusion, in fact, is what you call the then part. Hence, if x equals 4, then x squared equals 16. This is the if part, and you have the x equals 4. Hence, the correct answer here is letter C. In fact, the x squared equals 16 is the conclusion part. That's why the correct answer here is letter C.